this is about rights mm -hmm. ultimately, right? And it's not about tearing an industry down or or or, or an individual firm down or uh, an academy down or whatever it might be. It's about workers having access to rights to give them protections uh, so that they can do the work that they like to do, right? And I and I think your example of of like young firm owners that really want to do good work that is equitable, that is just for their employees, just as just as it is for their clients. Uh, this is a great option, and you know I think it's it's a way of kind of establishing a, a clear and honest and open. Uh, relationship between mm -hmm. employer and employee that literally has everything spelled out, right? Yeah. And it's the and if you think about it in another way, it's like what client would you really work with that you didn't have a contract with, right? Like you you want to establish all of those things. You might break all of it later, which is dumb, <laughs> right? But like as we talked about, but like you establish those things and you establish what the the you know working procedures should look like and. And there's reason for that, right? It, it benefits and protects both sides. Yeah. And even if you're a small firm, like we talked about, like, let's say you're a small firm and you have two employees, why not sit down and really understand, you know, what, what is the experience of being an employee in this firm? Is it truly equitable? Um, how do we make it so if we're missing something, but having a conversation that's open and transparent and, you know, in a way that, that allows the employees to feel you know, uh, protected and, mm -hmm. and not at risk of losing their employee if they truly voice how it is that they feel. Because a lot of times we're, especially in these small firms, like there is that idea, you know, that you're a family and, you know, it's, it's very tough to like voice your opinion because sure. you don't want to, you know, make anybody upset or, or disappointed, you know, as you, as, as they may see you as their, I don't know, their, their nephew or yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're stuck in that but, same room with each other all day <laughs> yeah yeah it's awkward. exactly so um allowing that conversation to be had but also um we're in a capitalist system we yep. um, are still in the business and a business will allow people to be fired and we still kind of carry that baggage with us when we go into our work place, spaces um when we're employees uh so when you're saying like you're unionized or you're trying to come up with a contract that's, you know, open and negotiable. Um, what, uh, who wouldn't want to be part of that office or, you know, and how would that not be equal to equity? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, that's like the ultimate definition of what equity mm -hmm. is. And, and, and now we're seeing like a trend of, you know, people, um, wanting, uh, more of their rights met you know um, yeah. we're seeing like the great resignation we're seeing people leaving and quitting their jobs because they're reflecting and seeing how unjust their working practices are so we're being we're we're a lot more aware of what we deserve as workers uh so there's a trend there so i'm i'm envisioning that you as a as a small firm having a a, a contract that was you know negotiated with your workers is just going to attract um, the right employees to your firm. And it's also going to retain that talent mm -hmm. and retaining talent equals money, right? Because you don't want to be constantly, um, having to, to teach your employees on how to do a job the way that you like them to do. <laughs> so, um, it, it's all like a, a win-win, you know, yeah. situation. Yeah.